Hey everyone, this is Mayur. Welcome to MLWorks. In this video, we'll be fine tuning a BERT model for a sentiment classification. So, as part of this video, we'll be uh, trying to download a model which is already pre trained on some text, and then we'll try to attach few more layers to that model and then try to train a model on top of it on a particular data set and try to do some classification. Now for this particular task, what we have to do is first we have to install uh, the Torch uh, TensorFlow models from TensorFlow models official library. So I have already what installed this package and it is already available for me to import. So if you see here, next is we import OS to work with the directories and to play with the directories we also have shutil. And then since we want to write a uh, fine tuning model, okay, add layers to our existing models. What we'll do is we'll import the TensorFlow library as well. And we have hub here from where it is the repository of trained machine learning models from where we'll download the BERT model. And also we have something called as NLP import optimization. Since we are fine tuning a model, we need some kind of optimization that needs to be done by the model during the fine tuning phase and then we have text this is a certain requirement in the in the back on, back end where you want to what support uh, different types of uh, text okay it is required in the back end otherwise it will throw an error if we don't import this particular package and then we have uh, matplotlib for plotting the graphs so here we have set the logger has error so this is just an import of importing of packages so once we have done with this what we do is we pass in the data set from where it has to fetch the data set from the url we passed and then we have utils.get file and we'll be uh, these are initialization steps all these are initialization steps and we download the data set and turn that into train and test and under this particular folder okay and we remove other data sets or unwanted folders using this particular line. Only we have train and also we'll have test under this particular folder ACL IMDB. So if you want to look at that particular folder, we can go here and we can see here test and train and under the positive or negative sentiments corresponding to each of the data points. So next what we do is uh, we try to uh, separate out the training into train and validation set and then we have separate uh, test set. So what we do is we pass in something called as auto tune is equal to tf dot data dot auto tune. So what it will do is uh, consider you are training a model. So the model will be trained on a certain batch of data points and that is a next batch that comes in once this particular data point has been trained on okay so it has to prefetch the data point for the next step of the model to be trained okay so this auto tune it will fetch the number of uh, batches that is required okay that prefetch the data elements for us based on the cpu that is available at that time during the training phase okay so with the auto tune it will dynamically what prefetch the elements during the training phase and it will be quickly uh, utilizing the resources in the back end during the training phase so that's why auto tune is required so batch sizes initially we are setting it to 32 so once you do uh, auto tune so it will dynamically change during the training phase and if you look at here we have raw train data set which is taking the data set from train directory and then we have validation data set which is again taking it from the train directory now if we don't put this uh, seed is equal to 42 so there will be data points which are overlapping in training and validation set so we need to put seed is equal to 42 and the training phase will take out some 80 percent data and the remaining 20 percent will be passed to the validation data set since they are taking from the same folder and if we see here training ds we are cache dot prefetch buffer size is equal to auto tune auto tune is equal to data dot auto tune so initially it will be taking 32 
okay and next time based on the uh, requirement or the allocate uh, cpu allocation that is available so those uh, prefetched number of elements getting prefetched will be dynamically fetched that value will be dynamically fetched similarly it goes for same thing goes for the validation and also for the test set all things will be dynamically what fetched the elements will be dynamically fetched during the training or validation phase or even for the testing phase so once we run that we'll see all these 25000 samples belonging to the two classes we are using 20000 classes for training and then found 25000 for two classes 5000 for validation and 25000 belonging to the two classes so we are splitting that whole data set into train and test and again validation the same thing is happening here now what we are what we are doing here is uh, we are just looking at a bunch of records and their corresponding labels so we have a particular uh, review and then the sentiment of the review again this uh, review and its label review and its label now we come back to what uh, the model which we need to fine tune and since we are, have a model like pre birth model each is, each of these models will have its own pre processing steps before it gets trained or before it is used for inference so there is a pre processing that needs to be done and such that that particular model is capable of taking that input okay whatever the text input we are passing it needs to be pre processed in a format which is the required by the model so what we have doing here is if you see here we have tf hub handle pre process and we have a handle encoder so bird is a transformer encoder model so we are loading the model uh, or path of the model we are passing it here for the pre process corresponding to this particular model is this is the pre processing model so we are passing the path here as well now once we have passed that here what we do is first we load the pre processing model bird pre process model and then uh, what we do is we send in a, a request or send in an input this is such an amazing movie and then we pass it to the pre processing part and we'll see what happens so this particular bird pre processing what it does is it generates three keys input mask input word ids and type ids so these words are again converted into numeric form using this pre-processing model and there is input mask uh, which is again if you see here 11100 okay and then uh, we have type ids 000 this is zero because we have only one sentence here that's why it is zero okay if you have multiple sentence the next sentence will be 111 other next sentence will be 222 something like that and this is word ids for each of these word is mapped to a particular id so we see that here and 1 comma 28 is the uh, embedding size uh, the word tokens embedding size right for each word token this is 1 comma 128 next what we do is we load the encoder model uh, which is a bird model and then we what we do is we pass the pre -pro text pre-process to this particular model okay so till now we did not do any fine tuning this is just the model we have downloaded and then we pre-process the input and pass it to the existing model itself we did not fine tune this BERT on this particular data set so here what will happen is this BERT model will generate an output which will be 1 comma 5 to 1 which is an embedding of that particular uh, review okay the sentence which we are passing input and this is a shape and this is the embedding and then this is sequence output shape which is nothing but uh, the context embedding for each token okay for example uh, there will be each word will have uh, one particular uh, embedding okay and that will indeed have 512 pulled output shape so similarly next what we have is so what we have to do is the output that is coming out of this particular model the BERT model we are attaching appending layers to it and then we are fine tuning it fine tuning means we are training it again so if you look at here uh, first tf text input pre-processing layer which is the pre-processing we passed and the text input is this is the another layer which we are creating right input layer and then this input layer is passed to pre-processing layer and this is what is happening till here okay 
and then we pass that encoder model what we have downloaded the BERT model okay which is again trainable and we are creating the encoder and then the encoder will take in the encoder inputs okay which we have passed we got it from here and then we'll get the outputs pulled outputs and then we'll attach to that uh, thing a dropout on the dense layer is added and that will be turned into a model the end okay so this is what uh, this is just we are defining the model here we are not training it here we are just defining the model we are adding a dropout and a dense layer to the existing birth model so here if you see uh, then we pass in the text and then we are just uh, identifying sigmoid that is the probability score for this one still it is not what uh, trained actually so the output is something random we'll get okay now to train the model again you need some kind of what cross entropy and there is an optimizer that is happening in the back end and we also need to calculate the accuracy okay all these things needs to be defined again so we have to do kf.keras.loss and then we have metrics for binary accuracy and here comes the key part where you have five epochs have been passed and then we have cardinality and then steps per epoch and then number of training steps warm up steps this is the learning rate initial learning rate and the optimizer optimizer is what we are using is adam w which is adam weight dk which is a stochastic optimization algorithm that will be updating your weights during the training phase that is in this case it is a fine tuning phase so we run that and here we compile the whole model the classify model which we got it here right classify model we are compiling it with the corresponding optimizer loss and the metrics now the important part is uh, uh, we have already defined everything for with respect to the fine tuning we just need to uh, do a fit on the training data set now if i this is i have already trained this model okay because each of the epoch it takes around uh, almost 20 minutes okay for each epoch and it is goes on for around one and a half hours though i have a cpu or gpu in my system it is around 8 gb of vram it has it still takes around 90 minutes to what fine tune the model so we have uh, passing the classifier model dot fit on training data set and validation data sets and the epochs we are passing and then we generate a fine tuned model once the model is uh, what fine tuned we'll be seeing the corresponding losses and the accuracy of the training and the validation accuracy okay the training accuracy and the loss it keeps decreasing the losses keeps decreasing the accuracy is keeps on increasing but if we look at the validation loss it is increasing and the accuracy almost remains the same okay now what we'll do is since this model has been trained we'll be evaluating it on a test data set so if we see here classify.evaluate on the test data set and we'll see the uh, loss of 0.45 the accuracy of 85% on the test data set using this fine tuned model or for sentiment classification so the key part of this whole task what we have done is how to uh, bring in the existing model pre trained model and attach layers to it and understand the input format of this particular encoder then correspondingly pre process your data and then pass it to your encoder model and then pre train the model again with optimizer and loss as required so with this i'll conclude this video thank you so much